Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second Hangout with Katarina Nilsson and the Tools of Joy of Business. We did one the other week, and we had so many signed up, so we thought we'd do two more. So this is the second one, and we're excited for this Q&A, and Katarina has lots that she wants to share with us today. And we have a Hungarian translator, too, so I will try not to speak too fast. <laughs> So welcome everybody that will watch now and in the future. If you have questions, you can just type them in in the chat or unmute yourself and let us know what's up in your world because that's why we are here to answer your questions about Joy of Business. And uh, Katerina, she is the Joy of Business facilitator. She facilitates both the first class 101 and the two-day class 102. And um, yes. I would like to introduce her right now, Katarina. How you be, beautiful lady? Thank you. I'm super excited. <laughs> this is so much fun for me, and and uh, I I love to have you you guys live here with me and with us on, on this Zoom. And and I just want to acknowledge Jula, you beautiful, efficient, super duper wizard in translation and tech solutions. <laughs> Thank you so much for making this possible for the whole Hungarian crowd. There is so much interest for um, the Joy of Business uh, tools in Hungary. And I'm so grateful that you make it available for, for, for everyone. So thank you. And please jump in and ask questions from all the Hungarian peeps whenever they come up. Yes. And welcome everyone. Thank you so much, Penila, for uh, also being willing to be the host of this, this Hangout and, uh, you know, get things going in a smooth way. And uh, yeah, let's yeah. play. Let's play. Uh, just type your, in your question in the chat box if you have any. And uh, in the meanwhile, I would like to ask Katerina some questions. Um, yeah. So, Katerina, I know you recently did a telecall with Simone on gratitude. So, how would you say gratitude and business are related with each other? Wow, thank you. <laughs> um, yes, so, you know, when we are grateful, we can't have judgment in our world at the same time. So, when we go into judgment, when we judge our creations, what we have created, what we have not created, oh, I didn't have, you know, that when you are at work, in your workplace, and you have this to-do list, and you kind of do 10 or 25 things, and the only thing you do is to see, oh, I didn't have time to do all these 15 things. So that's, if you reverse that and see, hey, how great is that, that I actually did all these 10 things today. So that's more the, the, the perspective of gratitude, whilst the other one, when you focus on what you have not done, that's when you judge yourself and your, your creation. So that's the basics. So what happens when we go into judgment? So the energy of judgment is never constructive, never creative never generative it is destructive and it's where we actually stop ourselves from creation and we stop other people around us as well so that's the energy of, of stopping a destructive energy so creation it's like when you when you yeah you know that i paint and when i'm i'm in a state of non-judgment and gratitude, I'm kind of open and, and, and I can receive the impulses or ideas that I have and I can go on creating. So, so if you go to a place where you, are, where, where you have flow in your creations, it could be when you are writing something or maybe you like gardening, so you're out there in your garden creating something beautiful with flowers or whatever it is. That's, that's a generative and, and um, a creative space where there is no judgment. So what if that is exactly the same thing in your business or in your workplace? So do you have that make tools? sense? Yes, for sure. Thank you for that piece. And how do you have any tools to get out of judgment and to flow with your business? Yes, <laughs> I do. So um, everywhere you haven't been willing to 
to see the greatness of you and see everything you have created so far are you willing to uncreate that yes yeah and go into looking at who you are what you contribute to and i have this beautiful um conversation with the other joy business facilitators in a skype thread that we have and this was yesterday um and someone else um well, it was a conversation about how we sometimes we go into judgment of, of ourselves. And I, I saw that I, I did that in, in my world. And Rachel Ryan in, in Ireland, she said to me, Katrina, can you see the contribution that you are and the inspiration you are to all of us, the other joy business facilitators? And how much did you create last year, for example? And I was like, oh, wow. No, because last year is like history for me, right? Yeah. But yes, and when I tap into that and see, I can be grateful for that. And that's when I go into this more generative and creative space. And what else can I choose? What else can I create? Yeah, I love that when you sense that you just shift the whole energy when you start to actually look for things that you, and not even look, but like open your eyes to everything you actually have to be grateful for. And because when you acknowledge something, it can grow. And if you don't acknowledge anything, it kind of kill it. Um, yes. So that's uh, really, yeah. And there's this beautiful conversation in, in Access Consciousness right now about chaos and order, where chaos is the creative and generative energy and order is judgment, basically. So order is, is the, and the order point, it's everywhere we go into and we judge and we stop ourselves. We actually have a, a, a clearing that I would like to, to share with you. And if you're completely new to Joy of Business or to access, access Consciousness, this might be a little bit advanced for you. And bear with us, see if it changes anything for, for you. So um, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> so what have you made so vital, valuable and real about the order of avoiding gratitude at all costs? that keeps you from the chaos that would make your life a total creation of infinite possibility and total gratitude every moment of every day. And everything that doesn't allow that, can we, can we create and destroy all that? Please? Yes, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, voice and beyond. Wow. So, I take it again. Yes, do it. Hit us again. <laughs> What have you made so vital, valuable, and real about the order of avoiding gratitude at all costs that keeps you from the chaos that would make your life a total creation of infinite possibility and total gratitude every moment of every day? Is there anything that doesn't allow that? Can we just run and create that? Yes. Thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and girls. Katerina, I had this awareness. I, I see how you... Uh, a way of keeping your business small uh, is to avoid gratitude. Yes. And choose yes. judgment instead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> and that's so cool also to, to see how come that we are so keen to keep ourselves in the box, create small, and be really, you know, not stick out, not annoy anyone around us so actually there is another another lovely clearing so we can go for it <laughs> <laughs> we're going to fry okay. everybody the first five minutes i love it okay so th this is goodbye normal goodbye average okay so what have you made so vital valuable and real about being a normal average real and the same as others that keeps you from creating a reality beyond this one so everything that is, times a gazillion, can we uncreate and destroy all that, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Yeah. What have you made so vital, valuable and real about no, being normal, average, read, and the same as, as others that keeps you from creating a reality beyond this one? So everything that is, right and wrong, good and bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So can you tell us a little bit about what happened in your business when you actually started to stand out from the crowd and you found the inner artist in you and you started painting? Um, what, what, what difference did that make in your business? 
Well, it was so light to, to add that and to, to play with that. And as long as I, I keep in that, you know, a playful um, mode and the energy of, of adventure, all is good. And for me, what happened also was that, you know, when, it's like when you take a, a step and you open up and you, you be more of you, people around you, they go like, ah, you know, because <laughs> they start to judge not only you, but themselves, what they choose and what they don't choose. Right. And they judge their, their lives and their, their choices. And sometimes that comes out in really funny ways. And so I started to, to perceive a lot more uh, judgment. And um, that is not always comfortable. So and what we do when we, so, oh, sorry, everything at the same time here. <laughs> <laughs> That's really a key to, to when we choose more, to be willing to receive other people's judgments. And again, most of the time, it's not judgment about you and your choices, but about themselves and their choices and no choices, okay? And the way to receive judgment without a point of view is to lower your barriers. And you can do that and play with that right now. Mm. Lower your barriers, lower your defenses, all your masks or whatever it is that you use to hide yourself, to be small, to keep in the box. So lower all of, the, all of those. And be willing to receive whatever judgment comes at you from yourself or from other people and just let it flow through you. So when we have our barriers down, judgment cannot stick to us and stick with us. It's when we have our defenses up and we go into resist and react and we, you know, we, we go into fight mode. That's where the judgment stick us and where we have judgment in our world and that's when we are not creative back again to creation and the creation mode. And I know I have said this various times, but um, the, the state of, of, of true creation is through relaxation. It is when we have our barriers down and we, where, we, where we are this open wound almost, like vulnerable, open to everything. That's when we perceive possibilities and we can make choices and act towards the yummy energies, what, what we would like to have more of in our lives. Does that make sense? Yes, I became all spacey and relaxed just from that little exercise. And uh, I love how that is the tools in Access and Joy Your Business that you play with energy and you can shift it so fast. Um, right now I just get so relaxed from those couple of seconds. Exactly. And what about you what, other what guys? What do we play with in the classes? Do you want to talk more about that? Oh, yeah. Um, so actually it is a lot about what we, about ju judgment and, and what we judge business as. Uh, so what is business for you? And what have you decided that business is that it isn't? So that's something we, we look at. So when we can be in this space of relaxation and creation, what can we create business as for ourselves and what could we create? So that's something, and that's what we're doing in the one-on-one -on -one class, the one-day class. And something that, uh, there was a question coming up, so what about the, the two-day class, the one-on-two? Well, there is when we have time to get down and dirty and, and really have time for more individual facilitation about each and everyone's own business. And also, the, the two-day class is called Access Business 102, The Adventure of Business and Living. Yes, I know. And that was also up on the, on the call with, with Simone uh, last night, European time. Um, so what is adventure? Well, says Simone, adventure has no judgment. An adventure is just an adventure. And she was talking about... Um, how she and um, Chutisa Bowman uh, are looking at investing in, in, um, in a castle in, in, in Italy. And when they talked about this, a lot of things and energies came up for them in, in their world. Okay, what if we can raise this money? So what, how is, and, and suddenly they just decided, okay, so what about looking at it if 
what if this is an adventure? So what's the worst thing that can happen? Okay, we can lose some money. All right, fine. <laughs> so what if you jump into the adventures without going into the computation and the conclusions and try to figure out how things are going to work out? That's where we go into these order points and points of order when we try to order things into existence. And that's not creation, that's total judgment. Yeah, what you were talking about was more the energy of when little kids are playing and they have no judgment in their world. They're just playing with whatever is up and whatever is in front of them and whatever is fun for them in that moment. Yeah, it's like when you when you dive into a kid's uh, Lego um, uh, world and you just start building something for the fun of it. Oh, I wonder what would happen if I build a tower here. Uh, what would happen if I do this? Okay, I'll see how this is. Ooh, so and then they're, they're not invested in the outcome of the tower either. Yes, exactly. Or if it's going to so, make money or not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and, and thank you for mentioning money here. For <laughs> I was talking to, to uh, I had lunch with an entrepreneur um, uh, yesterday. And he, he asked me about, so all these classes, what, what are they about? And I started to talk a little bit about the joy business. And the funny thing is, he, he's been a friend of mine for many, 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 many years. And for me, he is joy business. He's always been seeing all these possibilities and, and creating and, and still does. Um, and, and he actually said the words, yeah, for me, it, it's never been about the money. Um, it's been, I've seen the possibilities and I've been, it's, it, it, it's, it, it's about the creativity for me. And, and I love that. And that's the perspective and that's the space where money also would like to join the party with you. Yeah. So, and, and you can see the different energy. If this person, for example, the, the guy I had lunch with, my friend, if he ha would have sat down with, with his business partner and they were like, yeah, let's come up with this business idea that will make us loads of money right away yeah. from that energy. This is something that will make us money. You know, it's not the same energy as, hey, look at this. This is fun. What else could we do here? What else can we and extrapolate from that? And what else? What's the next step? What else? What else? And then what? And then what? what do, you know, that's more the, the, the kids play. Okay, I play with, uh, with this thing. Oh, now we'll play with this thing. And now we'll play with this thing. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Right. That's amazing. And uh, you were talking about that one way to get out of uh, funk in your business is to get out of judgment and into gratitude. And yes. I know a lot of entrepreneurs and small business owners that sometimes feel stuck and they might be doing the same thing over and over again or the thing that they're doing is not working. So do you have any other tools to get out of when people feel stuck in their business? Yes, definitely. Um, I would take a look at who does this belong to. So when you go into this contracted mode or worry, worry around money, for example, stop yourself, relax a little bit and ask yourself, okay, so the worry in my world right now, who does it belong to? Is it mine? Life or heavy in your world? Oh, heavy. Oh, cool. It's not even mine. So return to sender, consciousness attached. It's not yours. So most of the time, what we sense and perceive, even in our business and in business situations and with clients when there is some kind of fun, it's not ours. So everywhere you have bought into this, this reality or, or certain realities around business, money, and all the how-tos, could you please uncreate and destroy all that right now, please? Yes. And so it's in a right and wrong, good and bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and girls. And those crazy words I use right now, they are called the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement. And you can go to theclearingstatement.com and read all about it and uh, understand what it is and how it un actually undoes uh, energies where, uh, where a problem or a worry, for example, where it was created. Yeah. So that's short. So you can play with it and you can just use pot and pock instead of the whole clearing statement. That works as well. Yeah. Um, and if it feels funky for you, don't use it. Use something else. 
And it's just one of the ways we use to clear energy in the class. So we, we, you, I know you're going to be using it in class too. Yes, I will. A fast and dynamic way, at least for me in my world and my business, to change stuff really fast and easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, another thing, you're talking about different, uh, and asking about different tools. Um, and and the, the Access Business 101 class, uh, Business Done Different, it has no prereqs. Anyone could come to that class. So, and uh, um, I love that. So you don't need to be informed about the different access consciousness tools or the clearing statement, nothing. You can just show up. And as always, listen to and, and tap into what feels, you know, valuable for you. If there is one tool that you think, hmm, okay, this, this, this feels like something I would like to play with, do that. You don't need to buy everything, and please don't buy anything. Um, but check in with yourself what works for you. And uh, uh, you're only going to get the manual with all the tools that Katrina is talking about, so you can just pick whatever it is for you. Exactly. And that's also a funny thing to do. I, I use my Joy Business manuals very much. You can have them handy, I don't know, in this bathroom or <laughs> beside your, on your bed table or, or whatever. And sometimes if you feel stuck, you can just open it up and see, hmm, I wonder what, what tool could be useful for me today and play with it and see if it fits. So we were talking about the tool, who does this belong to? So light or heavy, is this mine or not? And also another one I would like to, to mention, which is one of the basic access consciousness tools is to be interesting point of view. And this is also some, a way to, to uh, say handle uh, judgments, for example. So, um, what, an example, I received an email before this, um, this event with someone who wasn't really happy that there was no translation to, to uh, their language uh, in this particular Zoom. Uh, so that had the energy of judgment in it. And of course, I could have gone into, oh my God, I should have prepared that. Oh my God, why didn't I? And so like, hey, no. There were my barriers and go into inducing, okay, interesting point of view. This person has this point of view, so an interesting point of view, interesting point of view, interesting point of view. I have this point of view that I should have uh, arranged translation into this language. So interesting point of view, interesting point of view. You just go like that in your head for a little while, and then all of a sudden you see that, okay, cool, this is just an interesting point of view. It's, it's not real. Yeah. So then it doesn't stick you as much. And this is so easy to use. You can even teach your kids to use this when they go to kindergarten or to school and when they have, you know, the other kids in school, when they are nagging or whatever and they are teasing or mean, you can go, okay, interesting point of view. Interesting point of view. So. Yeah, it's amazing. I love that. Um, so a few more words. So this has been, these are some really, really basics. And I do mention them because I would love some of you to hang out from this Zoom and remember to use the tools. Or if some of the tools are new to you, play with them and see if it shifts anything in your world. If you have more ease, uh, more joy, and of course, we'll go through loads of other stuff in, in the classes. Yeah, and please let us know if anything shifts. It's always fun to see what shows up for you guys. And these classes are in Stockholm next week already. And I know that you're going to be streaming them too. So I'm going to join here from Australia. So how does it get any better than that? And yes. that was just... It's so amazing because Katarina is one of two in the whole world that does one or two. So if you're pondering, this is your chance to take one or two because they don't come around that often. So I'm super yeah. excited for that one and one on one, of course, but I've taken that one before. But maybe it's yeah. up, is it updated since last year? It, it is. A, a, it's, took, it's completely new, actually. Oh, nice. uh, yeah, it is. And also with the conversations about ordering chaos that has been included in the manuals and they are completely new. So I'm excited to, to facilitate. Um, and for myself, I actually take 
the, these classes every year and the one-on-one -on -one class, I, even if I facilitate the class, I buy the class from other facilitators for that's a great day for me to reflect on myself and my business and my living and see, okay, so am I on, is this, are these the energies I would like to have more of and what, what is it I'm creating and what would I like to create? So it, it's it's really great. So you can you can do them many times. It's never never the same. And Panila, you are correct. Uh, for the time being, it's it's myself and Heather Nichols in the U.S. Apart from Simon Milasas, who um, who facilitate the one or two class. And actually, Heather and I will facilitate the, the three day class in uh, in um, California uh, next next year. I'm super excited for that. And I will. I will facilitate a three-day class in, in Budapest, in Hungary, in January already. Yay! <laughs> yeah, Eva is excited about that. That's cool. Uh, yeah. You guys, we only have a couple of minutes left. I mean, we are a couple of people online. Take your uh, possibility here to ask Katerina anything about your business. Is there anything going on for you guys? We, can, we have time for one question if there's anyone who has one. Yeah, go on. If not, you're going to wait, have to wait until next weekend. No, we have one other one on Thursday next week. Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah. And Juna, do you have anything from the Hungarian piece? Uh, no, not at the moment. Thank you. <laughs> Everything is clear. Everyone is creating exactly the way they would like to, and they are creating their dream lives. And <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, um, well. Perhaps you knocked us out with all those power clearings in the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, we could take them again, actually. Ooh, um, another thing I love is um, that you get to trade bars, too, during these classes, right? Yes. 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 So we will have paid. Yeah. And they are really super friars, these classes. So, <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe, maybe even run your bars after this, if you have the possibility to. Yes, that's a great idea. And also, we will... Mm, and we, we have created already, we have put up on the books um, one of the specialty classes called Getting Out of Your Own Way with Business and Money. And that's for uh, the Hungarian market exclusively in December. So I'm really looking forward to that. So there are a, a few specialty classes within Joy Business that we can play with also. Yes. And I would love to, to, if you feel like, oh, I'm just waiting for seven even ways to, to create money for that specialty class to come up on the books, you can always contact me. And I would love to, to create according to what you desire as well. And if you, if you gather a few peeps, it will be easy to, to create it. So I, I like to do that after demand also. Yeah, I know you travel around and facilitate classes and that you really enjoy that. So take that yeah, opportunity too, if you want a class yeah. in, in your city. Would you like me to, uh, to should we go for the clearings again? Yes. Before okay. We, before we go. Buckle up. <laughs> yeah. What have you made so vital, valuable and real? about the order of, ev of avoiding gratitude at all costs that keeps you from the chaos that will make your life a total creation of infinite possibility and total gratitude every moment of every day. Everything that is, thank you, Mathilian. Did you destroy my crazy old piece? Yes. Right or wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all my choice for you. And um, what have you made so vital, valuable, and real about being normal, average, real, and the same as others that keeps you from creating a reality beyond this one. So you think that is sensible feeling, can you destroy and create all things? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pop, pop, online, short, spoiling. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming on live, and uh, uh, thank you everybody that will watch in the future. The replay will be on Katarina Nielsen's YouTube, maybe, or maybe if you just have the link. Yes, and we will send it out for uh, to everyone who is registered and everyone who is on on my um, uh, newsletter list. Nice. And uh, what else? Yeah. So next week, the same time, we will do another one just for the fun of it. So you can join us. And if you have questions, you can send your questions in before that one or just have them handy and you can ask in the chat or live when we have the hangout. Yeah. So thank you.
so much for being with us today and enjoy your day or evening wherever you are in the world uh, wildly and be as crazy and fantastic fabulous in creation as you truly believe yes yeah i'm excited to see what we will play with next week so stay tuned and thank you so much for watching and let us know if you have any questions at all yeah thank you everybody i think that's thank it you so much. yeah, yeah. Thank you. bye thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs>